Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to get a better understanding of electromagnetic radiation by studying the basics of some antennas. We're starting with the parabolic antenna. So a parabolic antenna can both transmit and receive electromagnetic radiation. The reason why we use parabolic antennas is because they can concentrate the electromagnetic radiation into a beam shape. So we can receive energy from a wide range of directions and it can channel down to a single receiver so we can magnify the intensity of the signal by using parabolic uh, antennas. And the same with the transmission of a wave, we can get a narrow beam, highly concentrated beam of electromagnetic radiation. It's basically like a flashlight. We have a flashlight, it usually has a parabolic mirror and the light bulb will shine in all directions. All that light will then be concentrated into a single beam, therefore having a bright flashlight that can shine a beam a long distance. So kind of the basic concept. And so the idea is that the size of the, of the parabolic shape of the antenna should be at least the size of the wavelength or bigger. Bigger is course better. If you, become, if you make it smaller than the wavelength, chances are that the wavelengths will simply bypass the antenna and not a lot of signal. The efficiency of the antenna will diminish as the ratio of the wavelength to the diameter of the antenna becomes bigger and bigger. For example, if the diameter is only half the wavelength, you only get a partial efficiency of the signal. If it's less than half the wavelength, you probably don't have a very good antenna at that point. Basically, the, you want the diameter to be bigger, much bigger than the wavelength of the signal that you're trying to receive or transmit. So one of the big properties, is actually two of them, would be what we call the, the beam width, how wide the central maximum beam is, and how much gain you're getting out of the antenna. I have a couple of examples to show you how that works. So first of all, when you have a parabolic antenna, you're going to send signals in all directions, but in the frontal direction, directly away from the antenna, in a pencil beam shape, you're going to have a narrow beam that has a much higher gain. And so the beam width of that particular beam can be calculated by taking what we call K. K is the efficiency of how the parabolic shape can put the beam into a single pencil beam shape. Lambda is the wavelength of the radiation you transmitted, and D is simply the diameter of the uh, parabolic shape antenna. Now normally a perfect K would be 57.3, which is the number of degrees in a radian. K, the efficiency, is a little bit less for a typical parabolic shape, and so therefore K is about a 70. So if we then want to calculate, based on some numbers, for example, let's say we have two meter diameter uh, antenna, and we have a 4 gigahertz signal that we want to send. So we have to first calculate the wavelength of a 4 gigahertz signal. So the wavelength is equal to the frequency time divided by... Oh, let me take that back. Let's start with the basic equation. The speed of light is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. So therefore the wavelength is equal to the speed of light divided by the frequency. So the wavelength is equal to 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by the frequency of 4 times 10 to the 9th. And then let's uh, figure that out here. We have 3e e to the 8 divided by 4e e to the 9th. That gives us 0 0.075. That means a wavelength of 0 0.075 meters, which is 7.5 centimeters. So based upon that, let's figure out the, band, the beam width. So the beam width for that one would be equal to K. Let's call it 70 for a typical parabolic antenna. Lambda would be 0 0.075 meters, which is uh, 7.5 centimeters, divided by the diameter, which is, uh, we took it to be a 2 meter diameter antenna. And that will give us times 70 divided by 2 equals, that gives us 2.6, and that's in terms of degrees. So the beam width would be equal to 2.6 degrees, which is a very narrow beam. Notice that the smaller the wavelength, the narrower the beam, the greater wavelength, the wider the beam over which it will spread out. The gain of the antenna can be calculated by taking the area of the antenna, the surface area, times 4 pi divided by lambda squared, the wavelength, of the radiation that you're receiving times the efficiency of the aperture. So the efficiency usually is somewhat less than 1, maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. So let's just call it 1 for now to make things easy and figure out what the gain would be for a typical antenna. Again, let's assume that we have an astronomy antenna 25 meters in diameter, about 75 feet, and we're collecting wavelength of 21 centimeters, which is the wavelength we receive from the spin flip of the electron in space. 
So that means the gain that we would get would be equal to converting to this. We have pi times the diameter squared. The diameter would be 25 meters squared divided by the wavelength that we're collecting, which is 0 0.21 meter squared, 21 centimeters, times the efficiency of the aperture. And let's say that this is, for now, we'll just call it 1. And we get 25 squared times pi divided by 0 0.21 squared whoop, equals, and let's see here. Did I do that right? Ooh, I think I'm missing something. Let's see here. Area would be um, the area would be uh, pi r squared, and that would be equal to pi times diameter squared divided by four. So it looks like I'm missing a square on the pi. I thought there was something strange with that. So that's what I get for being lazy now doing the conversion. So the area of the parabolic dish, it's a circle, would be pi r squared. So pi d squared over 4. So the force would cancel. The pi would be squared and the d squared. So I have to multiply this times uh, pi again. So that would be pi squared. And so we get a gain of about 140 thousand that's of course assuming perfect efficiency in reality it would be only about maybe a gain of a hundred thousand with somewhat smaller efficiency on the parabolic dish so here you can see that electromagnetic radiation can be concentrated into a funnel just like a flashlight it can be radio radiation we can collect it uh, from space and we can gain to have tremendous gain in the signal strength by making a very large dish to collect small wavelength radiation and then we can bundle all that together so if the radiation comes in from space we can bundle all together into a receiver that then gets fed to the electronics of the of the uh, uh, telescope and then we have this tremendous gain capability by channeling all that electromagnetic radiation into a single small beam or we can send out radiation to a single small beam with a very small be uh, beam width as long as the diameter of the of the uh, radio telescope is always much greater than the diameter of the wavelength so, Elaine, again, that gives you more of a, an idea of what electromagnetic radiation is. We can channel it together just like light in any wavelength using these types of antennas. Next, we'll look at a, what we call a, a dipole antenna, and that will give you another look of how we transmit electromagnetic radiation through a different kind of instrument, again, to gain better and better understanding of what electromagnetic radiation is. There you go with the parabolic antenna.